But you guys, people are still doing this to their PC today in 2024. They are still using CCleaner. Why is it so popular and why do people insist on using programs like CCleaner to clean their PC? Now, it doesn't matter what sort of uh, bad light that CCleaner has been in in the past. People are still downloading CCleaner and are still using CCleaner on a daily basis. How do we know this? Well, we can take a look at the stats at the bottom of the page. So why do people use software like CCleaner? And the reason for it is for security reasons. And some people uh, like to read the blurb on the page and believe everything they say there. For instance, performance optimizer, get up to 34% more speed out of your computer. And it's all clever wording. These sites have been around for many, many years and all they do is draw people in with some of their terminology that they use on their website. You can see we've got performance optimizer, driver updater, PC health check, software updater, and we've got some other things on here like faster computer. All these words will draw you in, browser cleaning and things like that. So this is why people will always go to places like CCleaner to basically use it to either get a faster computer or maybe uh, securely erase all of the data on the computer from their browsers and things like that. I don't know how many times do people ask me, is CCleaner safe to use? And is it the best tool out there for cleaning my PC? It will also talk about registry cleaning. And all it does basically is it's going to remove unwanted files, cookies, and perhaps even some outdated registry entries after you've uninstalled programs from the PC. These are left behind in the registry. They're not going to hurt the computer any way, shape or form. But by using CCleaner, it's going to remove these files and it will basically tell you uh, that you have now cleaned up and speeded up your PC. 35 million gigabytes of uh, space cleaned every month. How would they know that? Well, they're probably harvesting data like they've always done. 20 years they've been in the business of PC optimization and experience. It's got a good trust pilot uh, record there, 40 languages and 5 million desktop installs per week. That is a colossal amount of people that are still downloading CCleaner in 2024 and installing it on their PC. Now, out of all those people that are installing it, there is a free version here which says faster computer, privacy protection. But if you want extras like the professional version or the professional plus version, you have to pay. And this is going to, of course, have all of the uh, speeding up processes built into the pro version to try and force you to pay for it. Now, there is other alternatives out there like Privacer. And this is a free option that you can download and install. It doesn't bombard you as much as CCleaner does. And it doesn't come with all the extra bloat that CCleaner comes with. And of course, CCleaner, again, has a lot of pop-ups and nag screens that will constantly ask you to upgrade to the Pro version or the Pro Plus version where they can get you to spend money. And of course, this is exactly what it's geared up for. Whereas Privacer even allows you to have a portable application without installing it on the PC and allows you to run it and clean all of your browsing history and delete any sort of files securely. Also, there's another option called Bleachbit, which you can use, which also comes as a portable version. And it really is a useful way of using the software without even installing it on your computer. And I would highly recommend either Bleachbit or privacy over CCleaner any day of the week. Now, remember, in the past, CCleaner has been accused of harvesting data and also had data breaches, so it's not the most safest of software to use for your privacy. Now, again, you don't have to use software. You can use the built-in storage sense inside Windows 10 and Windows 11 to remove any sort of uh, traces of your internet activity. You can just use this and run it on your PC it's not the most securest, and it is also attached to Microsoft, where some people have fears of data being sent to Microsoft. So if that is your thing, then maybe uh, you know the storage sense is not for you. But if you do want to use it, it will clear out any sort of browsing history and temporary files and stuff like that from your computer. So let's take a look at CCleaner, and we'll get it installed on the computer, and we'll take a look at it. I haven't installed CCleaner in many, many years 
So what I'm going to do here is going to come down to the free option and download the free version and get it installed on this computer. Now you can also see it's already tempting you with the get the C Cleaner Pro version right here, but we're going to stick with the free download and get the free version and get it installed on here. I just want to see how often they nag you for the pro version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the install. So once we've got C Cleaner open here, it's going to say C Cleaner is free and it's ready to use. So let's click continue. And the first red flag is it wants to install, uh, you know, Open Candy, which is like basically optional uh, software alongside the installation of C Cleaner. This is a big no no, and they should be doing that. So I'm going to opt out of that one. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to let it run and clean up our computer. So this is basically what you would do. Uh, when you're running a scan, it's going to go through and it will use a bunch of images here to talk about protecting your privacy, optimizing space and resolving issues. This is the keywords they use. They use all these buzzwords to try to uh, coax you in and get a bit of fear going in you that uh, they're protecting you and removing a lot of stuff. But basically, this is all just browsing history and that's easily uh, removed inside your browser. And you can see here, future proof uh, your PC. And now it wants you to go for speed and security. Of course, this is going to be an upgraded version. And this is the first nag screen that we got here to try and force you to upgrade. You can skip for now. And again, once you skip, it's going to say, uh, try the paid features free for 30 days. And now they're starting to uh, upsell you something that you don't need. And these are the problems with these particular programs. They're quite aggressive and they will use pop-up boxes like these all the time. And meanwhile, all the wording they're using is quite convincing to a lot of people, especially novice people. And what they're going to do is they're going to end up paying for it, thinking they need the Pro or the Pro Plus version. Now you're going to see a bunch of little options like this, saying, what do you think of the health check? We haven't done the health check yet. But again, some of these features are going to be paid premium features, and this is how they will get you. So you can see already there's some options in here which you can mess around with and check mark, which might be useful to you if you want to clear out, say, the DNS cache and a bunch of other stuff like Windows error reporting, error, uh, Windows event trace logs and things like that, which will flag up as uh, red and make it look like that you've got errors on the system and things like that. All prefetch files, you may be getting uh, some uh, pop ups here saying, for instance, we don't recommend you check mark these. These are for the advanced options. And this is really where the secure deletion comes in, like wiping your free space. This is going to add a considerable amount of time to the cleaning process, and they don't recommend that you use it. And I would also recommend that if you are going to be doing this, don't do this on a regular basis, like every week or every day, because you're going to be taxing your uh, drive, and it's going to be putting a lot of wear and tear on your drive, especially if you've got an NVMe drive. It's going to be putting a lot of uh, mileage on that drive for you. So be very, very careful when you're using programs like these. Now we have another one here called Performance Optimizer. It says it all right there, Performance Optimizer. People will see that and think that they are going to be able to optimize their PC. You are not going to see any performance boost by running the Performance Optimizer. It's all just a placebo, and this is exactly what they're trying to make you think that you're going to be getting. Also, we have registry cleaners on here. Again, just removing old registry files that are outdated after you've uninstalled them. They're not going to hurt your PC. And basically, they are sitting there on your PC doing nothing. But these will probably be flagged as some sort of junk or error, and they will then be removed. And you'll be thinking it's doing some good to your PC. Now, you can uninstall programs. So this is quite useful for uninstall built-in uh, applications here. That's quite a useful little thing. But software updater, really don't need to use anything like this. And again, startup, this is to remove startup entries and also task uh, schedules. We can uh, remove those uh, on here. And again, a lot of this can be done with Windows tools uh, as well. There is plenty of free tools out there that you can use that don't install on your PC. Uh, Sys internals have a lot of this stuff where it allows you to control and remove programs from the system. Again, browser plugins, disk analyzer, and you also got duplicate file finder here, system restore, and also drive wiper. This is where people will do secure races of their drive. Be very careful because this is uh, pretty heavy duty stuff. If you start 
running this on the entire disk is going to erase all of the data here as you can see all data will be erased and you've also got another one here which says free space again this does tax the drive out a little bit and it is going to put some wear and tear on the drive so that was C Cleaner. Let's take a look at Privacy. And what we're going to do here is we'll get this downloaded and we'll get it installed on the system. And again, there is videos I've made on this, so you can check those out on my channel. It's right there. You can see it on top of their website, uh, how to protect your privacy on your PC. And it is running this program. I'm just going to skip over this a little bit and show you quickly. But they do have a portable version here, which doesn't install on your system. It will run from a container inside of that folder there which is quite useful so let's go ahead and download the installer and get it installed on the pc so you can see it so here we have the program we can see get the pro version but it doesn't nag you you can see clean my internet traces with one click and we can also scan an in-depth in one click so let's go ahead and we'll do this one at the top here with one click and it'll go off analyze your pc you can see what you're doing here click on c and it will show you a uh, cookie selection smart or we can do remove all and there we go. It's just going to go ahead and start to remove any of this stuff right here. And that's it. It's just going to run and clean all of the junk on your PC. It'll tell you what it's doing right here. And it will ask you uh, whether you want to run this. So I'm going to close this box here. And it will continue with the cleaning process. And you can uh, just watch this go through and remove all of the junk files on your PC. And again, you can have this set up as a, a scheduled task and you can also do a lot of other stuff with this as well, like deleting files and folders, whatever you want to do, you can do that as well. And it's a secure eraser. It's going to remove all the files to make it impossible to recover that data as well. So if you do have sensitive information, you can clear the free disk space on this tool as well. If you wanted to, I'll show you that once we get through the end of this cleaning process. And that has now been completed. And here we have delete without trace. If you click on any of these, these will give you other options available to you. So let's go ahead and click on delete without trace. And you can see sensitive files. You can delete those and you could do sensitive folders. If you want to delete those, you can uh, select a folder and delete it. And it will secure erase and delete that file or folder on your PC. And it will be impossible to recover it. So let me go ahead and show you here. I'm just going to click on this folder here. Click select and you can see right here it's saying delete without leaving any trace. And again, it's going to remove all of that stuff for you. It tells you exactly what it's going to be doing right here. And once you do this, you can start automatically or you can just hit the start button and it will basically clean that folder out. Now, if it's got data inside, it will scrub and take all that data with it and it will be impossible to recover that data. Now, you've got some advanced options in here, which you can take a look at right here. And again, we also have some other options in the cleanup area, which is going to allow you to change your secure erase. And we have got NVMe drives on this system right here. So you can choose RAM and you can also choose free space. And it says smart cleanup recommended. And we also have flash memory, SSD and NAND. And it's already on secure, delete and trim. And we can also do free passes if we wanted to or other types of uh, algorithms to delete files on that system if we wanted to use something more secure than one pass we could do like zero in the data we could use a free pass method and you can change all of this right inside here and you've got an include and exclude area right here and you can see this software is geared up for more privacy and you can see internet activities residual traces of old files software use in the registry and usb history there's a lot of other stuff inside here. I'm not going to cover all of this in this video because I've done so already before. You can check that video out on my playlist. But basically, run this on your system and it will remove all your activity and also your internet activity by just running this program. This is more of a privacy program where and you don't get all of the other bloat like you get inside CCleaner with all of the performance optimization and things like that. It's basically geared up for cleaning uh, history on your system. And that is pretty much it. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'd be happy to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely day and I will catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. Bye for now.